At IAPA 2018, Intamin dropped the ball on us with two back-to-back -back announcements, one going to Walby, Belgium, and the other going to Park Asterisk. For this analysis, I'll be looking at the coaster going to Walby, Belgium. We do not have a name for it yet, however, this is a mega coaster, and man, does it look insane. You can tell that Intamin has been taking some hints from RMC when you take a look at this layout, but that is in no way a diss to them at all because this looks incredible. It's set to open in 2021, and just to run down these stats a bit, we got a height of 164 feet, max speed of 70 miles per hour, 80 degree drop, 15 airtime moments, and almost 4,000 feet of track. And this will be going in an all new area of the park. It's worth mentioning that this coaster is going to play a prominent role in this park's skyline because it's actually going to be the tallest and fastest roller coaster in not only France, but Belgium, Netherlands, and Luxembourg. So this ride is is enormous. Before we jump in, I just want to go ahead and apologize that I am not showing you guys the actual animation and I am just filming the TV screen from the press conference. Intamin did not give us the animation to show, so this is all I got. So this is what I'll be using to break it down. So let's run through some of these elements. First of all, we start off with a 45 degree lift, which if you're not too familiar with lift hills, that's pretty steep. We actually go into this twisting drop. If you've ridden Exhibition G-Force or ride that features a similar kind of first drop that's essentially what you're getting here and again that's an 80 degree descent if you're sitting in the back row on that thing you're gonna get whipped over and it is gonna be sweet immediately after you are thrown into this enormous airtime hill this is gonna be all ejector airtime and something i thought was kind of weird is that intamin is saying that this is gonna have the most airtime moments on a steel coaster in the world at 15. i'm not so sure about that i know steel vengeance has the most airtime on a coaster but technically that is a hybrid so it is possible this might have the most airtime on a steel coaster the only other one I can think of that is known for having the most airtime is voyage and that is a wooden coaster so I mean hey they might be right about that I also think it would be kind of surprising if they went ahead and said that and didn't do their research so 15 airtime moments hey I'll take it that sounds amazing immediately after that airtime hill we go into our outer bank turn this is a first for Intamin very reminiscent of that moment on steel vengeance but it's on an intimate if you've experienced that element i imagine that this will feel pretty darn similar so after that you're gonna hug low to the ground and pop back up and this is what they are calling the first ever cobra roll that is non-inverting because each side features an extreme side-by-side -side rolling maneuver. So essentially it twists out before you can go upside down. So you pop up, curve to the left, and then when you go into the next part, you curve to the right and dive back down. And at first I was a little skeptical of this. I'm like, okay, I'm not so sure about that. But actually after watching the point of view video, I think that looks pretty awesome. So no complaints there. That's gonna send you up into a low to the ground speed hill. Again, all ejected airtime. Go into a right curve. And we have a wave turn. As I'm naming off these elements, I really feel like I should be describing an RMC coaster. It's amazing to me to see RMC elements on a coaster like this. When I was at the announcement, I was drooling over this thing. It looks so cool. You're gonna twist out, go to the left. This is a high speed bank turn and then twist out and you got another ejector airtime hill followed by what they are describing as the world's first banked double down. And actually, I think that's about right because Storm Chaser and Twisted Timbers have a trick track double up. This is a double down that is banked. So they are technically right about that and it is going to be very awesome. So immediately after you got another airtime hill. They are showing a twisted section through two rocks. I don't know if this will actually have two rocks there or if it's just part of the animation. It'll make it look cool. We don't know. That sends you then left into a stangle dive and then lots of little bunny humps. To me, when I see that, I think of Phantom's Revenge. And I love that ride. And from there, you hit the brake run. In general, I am very jealous that this coaster isn't coming to America, but I do think it'll be a fantastic fit at Wallaby Belgium. They really needed something like this. To me, the biggest downside is that it isn't opening until 2021. I was kind of surprised, frankly, that Intamin announced it this early. My only thought for that is probably because they have to start construction soon because it's going to be such a big project. 
So I guess to just kind of wrap things up, it's really cool to me to see how far Intimate has come. When you look at a mega coaster like Goliath at Wallaby Holland, it's a fun ride and it has a solid layout, but this is if you took Goliath, mixed in some Expedition G-Force, and go full RMC on them and you get this amazing creation. If you look at pure steel coasters, not RMC hybrids or anything like that, I think that this will be one of the best steel coasters in the world, and easily one of the best ones in Europe. And I think that for international travelers, this is going to put Wallaby Belgium on one of the must-visit parks, kind of like what Wildfire did for Colmarden. And if this coaster doesn't get you wanting to book a flight to Belgium, then I don't know what will, because Intamin came up with a fantastic creation. I think that this is the best thing to come out of IAPA this year. But I want to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts on this unnamed roller coaster coming to Walby, Belgium for 2021? Let me know down in the comments below. And of course, stay tuned for the next analysis, which will be of the new coaster coming to Park Asterisks by Intamin. So stay tuned for that, and I'll catch you guys later.